do you feel that there's a breastfeeding tool that's particularly effective but often overlooked when breastfeeding late preterm infants? Definitely nipple shields have had a bad rap over the last few years and those have to do with the fact that they were made from um, different materials before they had a different um, shape. Um, they got some bad, bad literature reviews that um, the, the, the research was good but the review wasn't. Um, and people don't know how to um, correctly assess for what size they should use and they don't necessarily correctly apply it properly. So if you're using the wrong size or you're not applying it properly, it becomes a barrier to the breast and that's definitely not what we want. What we want is the correct size, the correct application and that becomes an extension of the breast so the baby can latch much more effectively. The reason for using uh, nipple shields in late preterm infants um, has, has two effects on the challenges that they face. First of all, um, because of the lack of brain maturation and uh, sp spinal cord myelination, just because a mother's nipple is in the baby's mouth doesn't necessarily mean it sends enough signals to the brain to tell the baby to suck. A nipple shield um, gives them a much firmer um, contact um, in the mouth and, and um, contacts much more of the mouth than mom's nipple may do and that will increase the amount of uh, nerves firing to the brain to tell them to suck so hopefully that the nipple shield will give them um, a more of a stimulus to know to suck. The other thing that nipple shields do is um, in a, in a full-term baby uh, they have fat pads in their mouth which decrease the amount of space in their mouth so they don't have to create such a, a strong vacuum to transfer milk from mom. Late preterm babies don't have these fat pads and they have a bigger area in their mouth, which means they have to work harder to create a negative pressure to, to withdraw mom's milk. A nipple shield helps fill in the, the dead space in the mouth so the baby doesn't have to work so hard and milk transfer should be much easier and less tired on the baby.